We have listened to several judge, uh, judgment uh, cases. One thing was clear when it comes to Abba Yusuf. No, two things from the tribunal where he was first sacked. There are issues that seem not to make sense to the average mind. How did you come about 165,663 results that were not signed by INEC? Who didn't sign it is INEC. Did the NNPP supporter, NNPP candidate supporter vote wrongly? No answer. If they vote wrongly, that makes it invalid. If the man who should sign the results, she didn't sign the results sheet. Who should, why, why is Yusuf been and his people and his supporters being punished if they, they did what they should do? If the law is failing them, shouldn't the courts that is custodian of the law make it right to ensure that that shouldn't happen? Then they went to the appeal. In the appeal, you are saying that he didn't follow the rules. Meanwhile, we have heard you talk about how this uh, in different case, um, court cases on this same in this same change three, how that is a pre-election matter. So now they have gone to the Supreme Court demanding for justice. I'd like to have your take on this. Do you think that justice is going to come to the NNPP? Looking at what we have seen so far, when it comes to Nigerian judiciary, we know nothing, <clears throat> and attempting to know something could become a criminal offence. And um, you see, the issue in Kano, if you listen to Dino Melaye, he said that Kano was given to NNPP, just as Lagos was given to Labour. So, and who was doing the giving? The APC that rigged the nationwide election. But look at it. APC have been using the court to secure whatever they want to secure. Now, if they had given NNPP Kano State, which is Kwankwaso, perhaps to pacify him, why are they turning around now to say, no, that thing we gave you, give it back to us? Because we know that election in this 2023 was not won by people's vote. It was won by a location of votes by INEC, who was serving as a stooge to APC. And now, look at it. If we have about 165,000 votes that were not signed by INEC, and NNPP collected all these things and rejoiced in their victory, they did not know that he who, who eats, who dies with the devil, should go with a long spoon. And look at how easily they have just captured him and said, oh God, come, the votes you claimed, you didn't, you were not clever enough to check if it was signed. And lo and behold, they were not signed. So who are we going to hold now? If I next say that they didn't sign it, I next, the ones you've signed that were altered, have you been able to accept them that could have nullified some of the sitting governors, even the president? But INEC has confused matters and they are using the judiciary to play their game and it is working for them. So, to Yusuf, well, um, if you tell me that you are not aware of this game, I will doubt you. So, you are aware of it. The same game you people are playing is coming back against you. So, you can go to Supreme Court, but check out which Supreme Court will judge this matter. There's a way they will handle this matter. They will be uh, contradicting themselves in their judgment between Obi and Atiku. So, but let's watch how it will be. They have taken a right step to, to go to a Supreme Court. So, let's see if Supreme Court will uh, nullify the judgment of uh, a P court or they will uphold it. Mm. We are watching in Nigeria. This is, uh, if I may call it, uh, a comedy stage. Mm. So, we watch, we laugh, we frown, we cry. Okay. Life goes on.